Hi, I'm Adam and I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm in recovery. Um, work for 217 Recovery, Recovery Coach. Um, yeah, so when I picked this story, um, you know, like Corey was saying, it doesn't sum up my whole story. It's just the uh, first thing that came to me, it was kind of a significant day. I feel like a, a, lot, of trans, a lot of transitions happened this day, so. This was August of 2018. That morning, uh, I had woken up, and unfortunately, it was one of those mornings where I only had a little bit of alcohol left. And I was running late for work, so um, didn't stop and get any more. At a time in my life where I didn't know anything about recovery, uh, I didn't understand. Um, options that I had out there. I was just uh, trying to get by day to day. And uh, so I show up to work, been there for 15 years. Uh, I was um, running the company while the uh, owners aren't there. Uh, all our uh, customers really appreciated the work I did. You know, I had a lot of close relationships with everybody. That morning, just remember standing in the back of the warehouse. Uh, no one was around and I started feeling uh, the muscle spasms, um, my jaw locking up, uh, couldn't talk, shaking. Kind of started to know, kind of started to understand what's going on with me, but uh, had a panic attack. I couldn't handle what was going on and I didn't know what to do about it and so I went with uh, what came best is um, I freaked out on everybody else. and. Got on my phone, text everybody at work, told them everything that's wrong with them, all the problems that they had, and why I had to leave, and you know, screw you guys, all that. Not quite Jerry Maguire, but. Yeah, so I made a big scene, left the job, really important to me. Drive home, it just started, it was all anger. Um, at the time, I was still just angry at everything, everybody and uh, the responses I got only made me more angry. Um, you know, stop at the party store, obviously, for the ride, uh, get supplies, and uh, what should have been a half hour ride took probably two hours, and during that ride, I went from anger to feeling a sense of freedom for getting rid of this weight that was ruining my life, and then, reality set in as I head home and as I'm walking up the stairs to my bedroom the weight of my decision sets in uh, I realize as I open the door and see my at the time fiance sleeping because she works nights and she's six months pregnant I realize the heartbreak I'm about to uh, inflict all that shame and guilt, overwhelming. The moment that changed my life is when I told her, her reaction was, um, thank God. And uh, I guess the moral of my story with this is, um, that was the moment that I realized that it was okay to have problems and to have to focus on them <laughs> um, and that I was allowed. And uh, I never really had thought, been able to, felt like I hadn't been able to feel that way. And uh, so it was the beginning of my journey, but I think it was the beginning because it was where I started to understand that the things that I felt I needed mattered too. That's what I hold tight every day, so thank you.